Since Adora was released a few months ago, we all know that this tower duo is goaded. And if we zoom out a little bit, this entire strategy is actually freaking insane. So we're simply going to be showcasing it in today's video because I believe it is one of the meta super monkey strategies currently in Battles 2. But before we get into the game, I just want to let y'all know that on March 7th, which is today, it is in fact my birthday. And in celebration of my birthday, I plan on doing a live stream right here on my YouTube channel today. And in that stream, I want to play against you guys in some private battles. Now, I don't know exactly when the stream will be, but just be on the lookout for it because it's going to be a lot of fun. Also, because it's my birthday, you should subscribe. I feel like that's a pretty valid reason. Seriously though, it's free and you can always change your mind at the end of the day. Also, why not drop a like on this video too for my birthday? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm asking for a little bit too much, but seriously, drop a like is free as well. It really helps out the channel. Thank you all so much. And this is in fact a rare sight both of us using Adora as her hero. That literally never happens in ranked. I swear, I swear, I swear, because Adora, she really isn't even all that good. But if we make it to the late game rounds and we farm properly, we'll have enough money to go for the vibe with defenses. And our defense is going to be absolutely good, okay? But uh, I think we're going to start off with probably a Dartling Gunner here. I'm not sure why he's not currently sending us anything, but I'm going to make sure that I pop the AI balloons pretty much immediately. Okay, there he goes for a Dartling Gunner as well. So he's really going to want to try to have the life advantage here. So we're going to send space greens over top of all of these grouped reds here on round two. He's definitely not going to be liking that. Is he able to fully defend though? Uh, I'm going to balloon boost that. Because it looked like he was trying to upgrade his darn gunner. Okay, yeah, he's going to tower boost. Okay, so clearly this guy does not want to leak here. All right, I'm going to go for the powerful darts. I'm going to play this a little bit safer here. But we definitely will stay consistent uh, with the space seek win throughout these earlier game rounds. So... Yeah, the fact that he got away with a round one Adora is insane to me. I, I guess I probably, I don't know, should I go for Adora as well? I might want to. Because, like, Dartley Gunner is, like, kind of hit or miss on a map like this. I feel like we might want the help. Because the life advantage in a situation like this actually might matter. Since he started off with a Dartley Gunner just like us. He also has Adora as his hero. He's over defending like crazy, by the way. I guarantee you, I talk about this all the time. But I guarantee that this guy is not using banana farms like we are, for example, within a strategy. Although he's space decoy, guys. Yeah, okay, yep. He's back to group decoy and group blues. I knew it, bro. I, I just I just knew it. Okay, let's get down that farm there. Hopefully, that's like decently uh, pixel perfect there. Okay, round five is here, though. Let's blow up that island. Beautiful. I'm going to have to go for the faster barrel spin here. No! Oh, my God. Almost like that. Almost doesn't count though, baby. Almost does not count though, baby. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go for also a banana farmer. All the way up here as well. Beautiful. Like I said, Dartling Gunner be, can be kind of hit or miss on this map. So, that's why I, I definitely want to play it safe. He, he went for another Dartling Gunner, by the way. Oh my goodness, bro. Like, I, I'm not going to be able to make him leak. I literally won't be able to make him leak. Okay, wait. We're good here. We're good here. I'm going for another Dark Gunner too. Then, I mean, if you're gonna play safe, then I might as well play safe as well. And two, we can blow up this. Oh wait, no, we can't. Okay, I definitely want to blow up this blue island down here with the blue flag, so that we get extra money, of course, so that we can put that back into our banana farms. I thought maybe he would send me group jealous here, but of course he's not. Oh, scratch that. Group jealous are in fact here. Let's use that level three ability. Beautiful. He's really going to want to make us leak here. Okay, so we got to watch out. Potentially going to have to tower boost this. Nah. Dude, level 3 Adora is actually goaded. They did buff it recently. Made it a little bit more reliable and just overall better. So, yeah, that was really, really solid right there. Okay, round 9 is here. I'm going to send Space Zebras their way. They're definitely not going to like it. I mean, they're not even currently equaling, by the way, which is pretty funny to think about. But let me go for the valuable bananas as well on this farm here. I'm assuming that they're saving up for the Hydra Rocket Pots. Okay, I should play this safe here. If, if they're not sending me anything, I should definitely play it safe. Okay, let's blow up that island. 2K right there. Beautiful. So, should be a little bit easier to afford this Hydra Rocket Pots for the mid-game rounds on our Dartling Gunner. Because, yeah, that's definitely what we want to go for. Okay, he went for his. Bro, it, it would be just so nice, though, if I could just make him leak at least one life. 
J just one life is all I'm looking for. And he only has an HRP and a door, so it's decent defenses, don't get me wrong, but we, we can definitely send him a rush and make him ultimately leak, okay? So I'm going to try to get away with sending as many space rainbows as I can here. Okay. Let's go for the HRP over on our side, too. Beautiful. Oh, send me a few rainbows. Not sure if that was intentional, though. But uh, we are, in fact, good. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so after maybe round 14 starts here. He's not even going still, by the way. Playing ultra, ultra safe here. He's going to use that level 3 ability here to help him out. And tower. Oh, my God. Oh, wait. He leaked, though. Right? Yes, sir, baby. That's all I wanted. Four lives. All I wanted. I do not care anymore. Back to Ecoing, man. Oh my freaking goodness. He tower boosted and used level three ability there. And he still leaked. I mean, like, four lives is like whatever, right? But in a situation like this, it means absolutely everything. Although he definitely could have a tower within his strategy that he can use to regen his lives. So. We're going to kind of hope and pray that's not the goal, but he, he definitely wants to go late game, right? He hasn't shown any signs of aggression whatsoever. He's been over defending like crazy. He has a door as his hero, which most likely means he has a super monkey. So a lot of indicators indicating that he wants to go late. And I am all down for that because I want to show you guys this strategy in action against a late game rush. Although this map, Precious Space, is probably not the best map just because... One, I don't even know how it's going to be on this map. I haven't really used a strategy on this map. But two, hence the name Precious Space, we don't really have all that much room on this map. Yes, I could have, like, not blown up the islands, but guys, then I'm missing out on, like, thousands and thousands of dollars during the earlier game rounds, which really excel my farm game. And excelling your farm game that early on is actually pretty darn important. Did this man go for a double HRP? He did. Okay, um, I, I guess that works, right? 100% it works. Okay, round 18, he stopped decoying. I was assuming... Spike Factory. Okay, so Dartley, Spike Factory, Super Monkey, right? That would make the most sense. I'm going to get back to Eco 1 with pinks, or we're going to start Eco 1 pinks, I guess. And we're going to shoot our Eco game a little bit more than normal, okay? Because we, we do plan on going late game. Dartley Farm Super Monkey definitely is a late game oriented strategy, so... Uh, we need a high amount of eco, that's for sure. With having the most expensive tower within our strategy in the game, which is the Super Monkey. And two, we can't really spam banana farms over on our side. So, we definitely have got to watch out here in general. Are we going to be fine against these ceramics here? Because they don't have laser shock still, technically. Yeah, we're good there. I'm going to go for this marketplace. Be oh my god. So beautiful. Round 20 is here. He's going to use level 3. I just went for laser shock and the focus firing. And we should be good with just that, I believe, right? I think, I think, I think. Yes, we are. Oh, my God. We are looking so solid right now. It's not even freaking funny. I'm going to go for another 200 farm here as well. Like, bro, you got to get back to Ikui. You have to eco. Okay, this is Super Monkey, by the way. I just now... Oh, he sold it. But I just now noticed that. So, uh, maybe he plans on aligning us here on round 22 with a ton of ZOMGs. Wouldn't be too, too smart, in my opinion. He did, though, just sell two of his towers. So, uh, yep, ZOMG. Okay, and he's gonna fortify. Yep, just stop egoing. Just stop egoing here. We're absolutely fine. Do not worry. Do not worry. So, what I'm gonna probably end up doing here is going for the knockback, first of all. This will slow down the ZOMG. I know it's outside of range, but do not worry. We are absolutely fine. I'm gonna start going for those middle path upgrades as well. Yep, BFB. Bro, you should know better, bro. You you should know better, bro. We got Tech Terror, baby. What are you going to do against the Tech Terror? Okay, here comes a Fortified Mob 2. Another Balloon Boost here from the young man. Dude, our eco is actually carrying us, so got to watch out for that. All of this, actually. Uh... Okay, we're good there. We're good there. We're good there. I'm probably just going to buy level 10. Tower boost. Use level 10. Use level 3. Don't worry. We're good. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was close. 
But guess what, baby? A defend is a defend. Okay, we're taking this game even later. Bro, BFPs aren't going to do anything. You, you thought it was going to work, but it did not. It did not, my friend. He's going to use level 10 over on his side because, yeah, he's just going to struggle to AI. I'm going to go for at least a Dark Knight, I guess. I don't know, man. Okay, 3,002 eco, by the way. We'll, we'll stop ecoing there. This game is kind of all over the place, but I do want to take it a little bit later. I, I truly, truly do. Reason why I went for a Dark Knight here, by the way, is just so I'm a little bit more prepared for round 26 DDT. So uh, I'll probably even go for another one of these. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered if we leaked, I guess. But I'm assuming that he's just going to all out us here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Round 26. Okay. Nothing out of the ordinary so far. But, like, he, he's kind of... Okay, just sold. Yep, he's clearly just going to rush us. Clearly just going to rush us here. Okay, I guess I had to tower boost that. I thought, like, a door above Dark Knights would be a little bit better. But, uh, I, I guess I'm kind of sort of wrong about that. All right, we're going to have to just put this guy out of his misery, man. But... I want to do it in style. We're going to send him Hyper Dense Regen Ceramics on round 28 because it's just a fun balloon to send, okay? We do technically have to watch out because uh, he could definitely rush us. So, uh, oh, he has a tower boost though to the AI. That's not too, too fun. But Regen Ceramics, sell, sell. And let's send as many as we freaking can. Okay, we should be fine with the tower boost. Yeah, we're, look at that. Oh, that's so satisfying. It's so satisfying. Okay, I, I wanted to go a little bit later with the strategy, obviously. But, yeah, I don't know why you would send me ZOMGs when you yourself have Super Monkey, bro. You know it just doesn't work, but I'll catch y'all in the next one. All right, it's round 24 in the next game. This guy is currently equal with purples, though. I guess we'll let it slide because his name is Ball Tricks. I hope he's not making fun of me, though. Oh, wait, shoot. Let's use our level 3 ability. Definitely pushing a lot more than my liking, so... Level 3 there is not a must, but definitely makes me feel safer. Can I go for this? Okay, yes, I can. Beautiful. What should I go for? Should I upgrade this to, like, a Dark Knight or something? Yeah. Just so I can play it a little bit safer here. Since uh, he's still equal with purples, bro. Like, I didn't send him one rush, really. But... He did manage to leak just one singular life. So going into round 40 in these later game rounds, we do in fact have that life advantage. Oh my god. Okay. I used my level 10 ball of light ability because it took forever to pop that mob. I got pretty scared, but I think we're good, okay? Got the monkey wall street. Got the BRF right here. Now we'll probably end up going for a double central market, bro, with 4k eco, by the way. $4,000 coming in every six freaking seconds so obviously this is pretty darn op let's go for that beautiful let's go for another one i highly doubt that he's gonna rush us here with ddts uh you never know at the same time he would die to one ddt too so we'll, we'll be mr nice guy uh by not rushing him but if possible i would really like to go for the sun goddess adora which requires the level 20 adora first of all and also requires us to go for the true sun god upgrade on the super monkey. Now, I guess I'll have it, like, right here, by the way. So, yeah, we'll have that ready to go. Kind of more prepared, I guess. About to be round 27. We can sell these farms into the B central here in a second. Okay, completely stopped decoy now. I was about to say, it's, like, pretty quiet, too. Got the B central, though. Good, good, good. Yeah, there's not really too much synergy to his strategy, unfortunately. So... I don't know, man. Like, I mean, he's going to be fine because I probably won't even end up rushing him. But, bro, with him ecoing with constant freaking group purples here, I'm not going to lie, boys. This is kind of scary because I just let him get away with it. So his eco game has got to be literally insane. Let's go for at least a monkey bake here. Top path upgrades on that as well. Yeah, we're going to go for the monkey nomics. And now we just spam the heck out of the BRFs over on our side. No signs of aggression again from our opponent, but... Because they stopped decoying, they might just rush us here on round 30. Gotta definitely watch out for that. I think if they do rush us, we immediately go for a Sun Temple over on our side, okay? And then we spam Sun Avatars around that Sun Temple as well. And here on round 30, look at this. 
Got all that money all at once because there's only one singular BFB. We're going to be absolutely fine here. Actually, maybe we upgrade to a Sun Avatar just to play it a little bit safer. Use this ability as well. And yeah, no rush here so far in round 30. So I guess that means we can technically continue on farming. There's only two more farm spots, I believe, though, on this map. So yeah, we'll go for these. And then I'll make sure that I have max sacrificing from every category within our strategy when we go for that true sun god. So we need to have $15,000 worth of sacrificing from every category. So from the military category, we could simply go for, I believe, just a plasma accelerator. Yeah, plasma accelerator is definitely enough. From the magic category, we already have a dark knight here. Okay, this is going to be sacked as well. So I guess we'll go for... This might be a little overkill, but that... Yeah, that's definitely a little overkill, but it's okay. Just want to definitely make sure that I have 15k. And then from the support category, all we need is one BRF, and we should be good to go. All right, round 32 as well. He just now went for super glue, but he does have Master Bomber, so he's not going to die to AI, which I guess is very, very good. Uh, I, I could pre-buy MAD back here. Thoughts? Is that the play? Because then, yeah, that nothing back here should get sacrificed. So that means I can also go for then... Another Darling Gunner right directly above it. This can be the Ray of Doom cross path, though, with the bottom path. Because the bottom cross path got buffed recently. It's freaking cool, and I want to use it, all right? We'll also go for the BEZ, just because, like, when we actually go for the uh, Sun Temple and everything, it's going to take a little bit of time, right? So I just want to make sure that we have, like, decent defenses on the map uh, for the meantime, you know? She's currently level 15 as well. Maybe if we just go for like a Dark Knight right here. Let's try using that Blood Sack ability on that. And let's see how much she levels up. From level 15 to... Okay. Level 18. So I guess I should have probably cross path that. He's back to Eagle World Purples. Oh no, bro. That's not the play. Save up all the money you can. I mean, again. He has an insane amount of eco, bro. So whenever he does decide to rush us... It is not going to be a walk in the park by any freaking means. All right, well, Blood Sack, one more Dark Knight. Is it overkill? Possibly, because she's level 18 right now. So let's see, level 20. Bew to freaking full. I guess we could just go for it right here, right now, just so, like, we have it more set in stone, right? So I'm going to sell you guys. Go for that. Go for pretty much the same exact upgrades once again, by the way, or... Maybe a balloon area denial system here. Maybe also... Ah, uh, Robo Monkey is a little bit overkill, I'm not going to lie. But I just want to definitely make sure that we have max sacrificing, right? So, that should be enough from all the categories here. Level 20 Adora. Let's just go for this. Oh, shoot. It sacks some of the uh, BRFs and stuff up here. That's fine, though. Let's use that ability. Beautiful. I guess, like, is it even worth to rebuild farms at this point? Because it's round 37, guys. We'll rebuild like two more. But yeah, I definitely could have avoided that. 100% on me. Hopefully it doesn't cost us the game. And now we want to go for as many super monkeys inside the range of the sun goddess Adora right here. Just because they're all, of course, going to be buffed by her herself, I guess you could say. Uh, I should not worry about really pixel perfect because it's about to be round 38. I'm assuming that they're just going to wait until round 39 to rush me, though. Okay, he's going to rush us here. I'm going to go for Legend of the Night here. Um, Shoot. All right, I don't have that much money. Collect you. Sell you. Let's go for Anti-Balloon if we can. Uh, this is practically an all-out, right? So, I guess I just sell everything at this point. I'm going to have these with the knockback. And then the ones up here, cross path with the middle path. Oh my god, this is so overkill, bro. This is so overkill. There's nothing he can do. Oh my goodness, boys. Oh my, mind you, we have farm. We don't have homeland defense on like a monkey village. We don't have the alchemist buffing us. And that entire rush is gone. Oh my, I didn't even upgrade everything. I mean, that's all you could send though? There's no way. There, definitely you could send more. Up, oh, he rolled his eyes. Ball tricks, bro. You're going against the actual Boltrix. One more good game. Why good game? What do you... Okay. 
We're gonna hold him hostage unless he ends up surrendering because literally why not? We're gonna take him all the way to round 40. How many pops is the legend tonight? Okay, 306,000, 250,000 for the anti balloon, but 1 million for the sun goddess Adora. No surprise there whatsoever. Oh, did, bro, did you really just try to send me DDTs? Really? Okay, so with having max sacrifice even the support category, by the way, this already has innate camo detection. Same thing goes for all of these sun avatars as well. So that's why cross pathing most of them with the middle path is absolutely fine. The ones in the back of the map, I only cross path yet yeah, two of these uh, with the knockback, just so it could like slow down ZOMGs and stuff. But clearly, we did not need to worry about that whatsoever, bro. We can't even see the AI over on our side. That's how quickly. What, what's even pop? The sun avatars. I mean, I also move my Ray of Doom up here too. But I say we try to send as many ZOMGs as we can at the start of round 40, just because literally, why not? So. I'll move these down here. I'll keep the Legend of the Night so that we have the black hole ability. But I'll probably just honestly just sell this because literally why not? We'll have that black hole once again. And there's going to be a crap ton of ZOMGs. Mind you, he, he's got Super Glue, Master Bomber, the Balloon Solver. Like, he's fine against them. I kind of just want to send him a lot for literally no reason. Balloon Bottom 2! Balloon Bottom! Did I? Oh, did I stop? It stopped. Balloon boost. Don't actually pop that. Oh, wait. Did I just sell my Legend of the Night? I did. Oops. Okay, get that back on the map just to be safe. Oh, no. I accidentally popped it. No. Oh, my. Dude. There's a lot of ZOMGs there. Bro, why didn't you at least try to counter with DDTs right here? Look at this. All I have is a Legend of the Night now. I even sold a door, bro. Okay. I mean, <laughs> I would have had a black hole, so I would have been fine. But, like, literally just why not? You never know. I could have just absolutely sold right there. GG's go out to ball tricks, though. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about this strategy down in the comments below. And if you did enjoy this video, you want to see more videos like this, let me know by dropping a like. And also, make sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. 500k by the end of the year. Thank you so much. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out this video where there is a brand new 100 times hypersonic Phoenix glitch in Balloon CD Battles 2. See ya!